hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is venus Math. if you are new to this channel please hit the subscription button and like this video today we are going to be diving into a little bit of web development but instead of writing our code from scratch we are going to be using chat gpt to help us write this code from scratch both the front end and the back and the back end so this application is going to be a translation and dictionary web application using PHP and MySQL database. This powerful tool will allow users to easily translate words between two languages, which is going to be Abra language and English language, and access their meanings and also have um, translation functionality, which means you can click a particular word and see the translation the english uh, the abira trans uh, sorry the abira pronunciation whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer this tutorial is perfect for you so let's get started so um for the outlines so uh, these are the outlines of the of the project we are going to be setting up the project structure uh, so I'm going to be using ChatGPT prompt to tell ChatGPT what to do for me. I'm, because I'm an experienced developer, I know what to what to ask ChatGPT to do for me and everything. So I I don't just want to get my hands dirty. So that is why I'm telling ChatGPT to write this code for me. Okay. So that is that. So let me use let let me just show you the functionality of this application now i'm searching for mother now there's nothing like mother in the in the on the platform no result found so i'm going to search for another word so right here i have just three words in this particular uh in this particular application I have hello world and example so i'm going to search for example and the application is case insensitive which means it's not case sensitive so if I just write things like this and I search, it's going to give me example. And also if I search for uh, Ekunyi instead, it's going to give me the same thing that is here. And that is it, the same thing. So there is another thing here called hello. So I'm going to copy the osu instead, instead of hello, sorry. Instead of hello, I'm going to copy osu and it's going to give me hello. So this is what it's doing. It's Checking for both Ibira, uh, Ibira language, Ibira word, and um, English word. So when I search, it's going to say hello also. Also, the also is not the name for hello in Ibira language though. It is just an example. So I'm going to copy hello here, um, play, and search. It's going to still get me the same damn thing so without further ado let us get on with the video and the tutorial so before then please hit the subscription button turn on the notification bell and like this video at the same time you can share this video so that youtube algorithm will know this is a great video and recommend it for other people that this is going to be beneficial to okay welcome back the very first thing for us to do is to get our prompt right so i already have my prompts here so let us look at what the prompt is going to be about so this is what i'm going to be telling charge i'm going to say can you help create can you help create a translation and dictionary web application from Ibera language to English language and vice versa? So this means that um, when you insert an Ibera word, it's going to translate it to English. And when you um, give the English word, it's going to give you the corresponding Ibera language and vice versa, just like that. So I'm um, telling ChatGPT to use PHP and MySQL database. This translation web app will have built-in dictionary also. This means when a word is searched either in English language, blah blah blah, 
and again the app will make sure it is not case sensitive the app which means if you enter um, the word mother if capital letter M and capital letter O um, are what the user entered it's going to give them just mother without even looking at um, the case uh, the case sensitivity so the app will display the word search the direct translation in English language or in Iberian language depending on the language searched the definition of the word and an icon for the pronunciation in Iberian language so which means I'm going to be adding a pronunciation file which is going to be hosted um, I think I'm going to host it I'm going to host all the pronunciations and everything so another thing I'm telling ChatGPT to do for me sorry database another thing I'm telling ChatGPT to do for me is to um, so the dictionary should have these details on database ID English word if word English definition then if you pronunciation so in the front end only one search box will collect the input form input from a user and the application should look at both the English word and if word columns and bring out the best results so uh, this means that only one only one search box is going to be available on the website on the web application so when the user entered a word this application is going to look at the English word column and the Ibera word column compare the two and bring out the best results so you are uh, also I'm going to be in, so in the front end only okay that has been covered so I'm telling ChatGPT to give me the full codes in these pages sorry these pages I need an index.php code sorry I want HTML instead index.html code um, page the translate.php page scripts.js page style.css page and link them accordingly and link the pages accordingly so I don't want to touch anything at all yes I want um, ChatGPT to write everything for me from A to Z so also lastly give me an SQL code to create the database the table the columns and five example data so uh, it is safe for me to tell you that I already have one server running and I have um, and I have my uh, PHP my admin right here so from here I'm going to be creating the database that we are going to be using and also I have my um, my uh, VS code running already and I have this page called translator where we are going to be adding all our files so going back to chat GPT this is chat GPT now I'm going to copy my prompts and paste it so that chat GPT can start working on it I'll paste it right here I'll go up look for if there's any correction there is no correction hopefully SQL SQL so let's just go with it let ChatGPT do the magic let's see something so the very first thing ChatGPT is giving us is the database setup so I'm going to copy this database code I'll head on to my localhost um, PHP my admin go to SQL I'm going to paste this SQL code here sorry that's not all right as um, ChatGPT Shane Red. I 
So let me regenerate. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to copy the code for MySQL database. Come to my database or paste it. Okay. Everything is here. So this is going to create this database called Ibra Translation. Table um, it's going to create a table called dictionary and the ID, English word, Ibra word, English definition, and Ibra pronunciation, and everything. So I'll click on go to create the database, the tables, and everything. So Ibra translation, let's go to the table. The table has been created already. Then this is the dictionary. So instead of five words that we asked for, it gives us um, three, which is fair enough. Let's go back. I think it's done. Then on the index.html, it's saying that we should add this. So I'm going to copy it, head over to my um, text editor, create a new file, index.html. That I'm going to paste it inside here. Control S to save. Create another. Create another uh, um, file. The file is going to be translate.php. Copy this. New file. Translate.php file. And inside this, I'm going to paste the PHP code. Now, one thing we need to um, address here is that the user of this of this database is root. Then the password, I have no password right there. I'm going to save this. Okay. Now. We still have some things to do. And the next thing for us to do is to uh, copy the script code. The script code called script.js. That is going to handle uh, our JavaScript code. Going to save this. Control S to save. Control S to save. Then another file I'm going to be creating is the style.css to make the the form beautiful a little. Okay, let's go back to. I'm going to copy the style.css I'll come back here control V control save control S to save so let's go back to the index.html so I have a bit of translation and dictionary is linking to the style.css I have the form where's the form Okay. Okay, the form input field, div, everything. Then we have the script.js, which is here. Script.js. Now, this JavaScript is going to be the one interface collecting data from the form and sending it to, uh, to translation.php. So, translation.php is going to now do all the magic from the database and back and forth now that that is done let's go back to okay let's go back here i'm going to say localhost 
slash translator let's see what we have right this is what javascript uh this is what chat gpt has given us so looking at the words that we have here we have hello hello let's look at it down this is hello and this is the definition you can see that let us enter a word that is not present like mother no result found let's see what else do we have here we have a word like um, example example it here now this is example that is the example right there then um remember what we said about even if we enter an Ibra word it should work so i'm going to enter an Ibra word control v osu search it's still telling us it's hello in english and this is the definition and if the um the link to the audio is present in the database you'll be able to play it here so we've come to the end of this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel as i'm going to be sharing a lot of exciting um ex exciting projects using chat gpt so share this video subscribe to my channel and like so this is another thing i'm going to be doing is um I'm going to be hosting this um, this dictionary application live so if you are watching it check the description below and you are going to see the link to the actual project so without further ado bye for now